Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, we're going to learn how to solve multi-step word problems that involve money. And what I mean by multi-step, that means we'll do some multiplication and then some addition in order to get a grand total. So, let's get started. Katie is selling cookies for a school fundraiser. She sold 45 boxes of cookies on Monday, 32 boxes on Tuesday, and 58 boxes on Wednesday. Each box of cookies cost $8. How much money did Katie make in total from selling the cookies? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so day one, she sold 45 boxes, and each box cost $8. So we're going to go 45 times 8, and that's 360. Then the next day, she sold 32 boxes. So 32 times 8, and remember the 8 is the box of the cookies, and that's $256. And then on Wednesday, she sold 58 boxes, and 58 times 8 is 464. So now, for a grand total, we just add these up, and if you add 360, 256, and $464, you get $1,080. So she had a pretty good deal. She sold $1,080 worth of cookie. A class is planning a trip to a museum. The ticket for one student costs $15. There are 24 students going on the trip. The class also needs to rent a bus for $200. What will be the total cost of the trip? So let's get started. First, one ticket costs $15. And we have 24 students. So for the total cost of the tickets, we're going to go 24 times 15. And when you multiply 24 times 15, that equals 360. Now we need to rent the bus, and it's $200. So we're going to add 360 plus 200, and that gives you a grand total for the cost of your museum of $560. Up next, at a baseball game, there are eight rows of seats in the stadium. Each row has 15 seats. If each seat costs $10, how much money will the stadium make if every seat is sold? So, how are we going to tackle this? First, we have eight rows, and there are 15 seats in each row. So... Let's go 8 times 15 for the total number of seats, and that equals 120. Now we get $15 per seat. We will multiply 15, which is how much we get for each seat, and when you multiply 120 times the price of a seat, which is $15, you get a grand total of $1,800. It's kind of a small stadium, but anyway, they're going to make $1,800 if every seat is sold. Okay, now, Samantha is planning a birthday party for her friend, Lily. She needs to buy supplies for the party. The costs are as follows. Balloons are $2 per pack, and each pack has 10 balloons. A cake costs $15. Party hats are $3 per pack, and each pack has 5 hats. Party favors are $1.50 per person, and Samantha's inviting eight friends. So let's go ahead and answer a couple questions. First, how much does Samantha need to spend on balloons if she wants to buy three packs? Well, each pack is $2, so we're going to go three times two, and that equals $6. So it's $6 for balloons. Now, how much is she going to spend on party hats? Well, we have eight people coming. And each pack has five hats, so we're going to have to buy at least two packs. So we're going to multiply two times the price of one pack, which is $3. So that gives us $6 for party hats. Now, let's go ahead and get the total cost for all of the party supplies. Okay, so we've already figured out balloons, we're going to spend $6. Okay, party hats, we're going to spend $6. The cake will be $15, and now each person needs to a party favor, and each party favor is $1.50, and we have eight people coming. 
So if you multiply 8 times $1.50 equals 12. So now let's get a grand total. We have $6 for the balloons, $6 for the hat, $15 for the cake, and now $12 for the party favors. And when you total that up, you get a grand total for hosting this party of $39.